Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing a blow dry and trim on 4C hair. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, my hair has not been trimmed in so long. This video is featuring mainly beauty. Yes, my girl Serafina in the cut is about to get crazy. <laughs> it's about to get super crazy. So if you guys want to know a little bit about how to blow dry and trim your hair, stay tuned. Moisturizes, anti frizz, and all that. I feel like that it's a huge factor yeah, in this? my um when I blow out people's hair. I feel like mm -hmm. this is also what what makes it so like I guess not so frizzy. So it, mm -hmm. it's also a leave-in conditioner too. So it's like only one. Okay. And when you're flat ironing, you want an oil-based product. You don't want something with water in it. Yeah. But when you're blow drying and you're just stretching it out, you know, you know, you want a little bit moisture to give it, you know, some life and body. That's beautiful. So tell me where you want to head with your yeah. hair. Honestly, I'm just looking for like just healthy okay, hair at healthy this point. Hair. You know okay. what I mean? I blow dry my hair a lot, but I'm trying to like stay away from that. Do a lot mm -hmm. more like protective styling. Mm -hmm. Just like take care of my hair. Why do you blow dry your hair? Slick down looks, like sleek looks, things okay. like that. Have you, know? you ever tried the banding method? No. What's the banding method? Girl, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, like with the um with the thread. Yeah, or the rubber band. Oh, you could do a rubber band and too. And yes. have like clamps down. Exactly. And oh. I'm not gonna lie to you, I cheat my way out of my wash days. People be like, oh, my wash days are so long. Mine, probably like an hour. You know, I'll take a little piece, put a, a scrunchie or a rubber band here, and then pull it, put a rubber band here, put a rubber band here, until I pull it to, oh, and yes. I'll go to sleep with it looking crazy, and I'll wake up, take it all out, it's stretched, it's dry, I didn't have to blow dry, I didn't have to do nothing. So, because I feel you, like, I don't like my shrinkage, and I, if every time I could, I will blow dry my hair every single time I washed it. But because, you know, sometimes the blow dry is too much. Heat. Or the heat. Yeah. So I will do the banding in replace of that because I So you could trim your hair wet, you could trim your hair dry. It all depends on how you wear your hair on an edge. Oh, and y'all, I'm going to link her Instagram right here. <laughs> y'all already know. Yeah, so I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm going to do her hair, y'all. Her shit is laid. Yes. Yeah. People cut their hair differently depending on how you wear it. So if you do, like you said, you stretch your hair out a lot so you're able to style it, mm -hmm. then yeah, I would definitely recommend that you stretch your hair in order to um, cut it because you wear your hair stretched. Right. As opposed to people who don't even blow dry their hair, they wear their hair curly all the time. Okay. So it makes sense to cut it curly to give it a shape with the curls. Oh, for Actually, sure. like, oh, do you cut it wet or dry? I'm like, that depends on Literally, if you take one strand of hair, it'll split in two. Like that one string uh -huh. will come out and start look like um like a tree branch. Uh huh. So it'll come out in two. Um, knots. There's also people don't really talk about knots. Everybody's like, oh, has split and split. Has. Knots are another thing, and knots are caused by you not detangling your hair well or whatever. But it's literally like your strand of hair is knotted. Like there's knots on it, and I can show you one, and I'll have you feel it, and you'll be like, okay, yeah, it has a knot. It literally ball. feels like a knot. It's a ball. In yeah. Your hair. It's a knot. So sometimes people don't even have split ends. They just have knots at the end of your hair. I just got rid of everything that was under here. It's like a blunt cut now. And now I'm going to use what I just cut at the bottom to guide me to cut the rest of your hair. Okay. Like, do you think that people should do their trims themselves or do you think that they should always go to a salon, to a professional? 
Um, I would never recommend to only trim yourself because it's not a terrible thing. If you do see a knot, you know, you just gotta trim because knots will happen like when you um, cornrow your hair a lot and then you take out, you know, yeah. protective styles and you're like trying to detangle it. That's where the knots happen. So if you do see one and you just wanna like snip it away, then yeah, you can snip it away. Or like a split end. Those are definitely like good to get rid of because you know how people are Oh, like, they can hey, grow. They can kind they, of move they, up. Exactly. Yeah. I like, haven't had a trim in so long. Like, I don't really take the best care of my hair. And I'm like, I, I want to take care of my hair. No, it's good to have healthy hair, girl. Because you can wear wigs all you want. But the feeling to right. say, I want to wear a wig because, you know, I want to and not because I have to. Right. Because. the whole dusting thing just to get rid of you know mm -hmm. whatever's lying at the end you don't have to do a huge trim all the time fill your hair now yo my shit looks so like it feels even yeah yeah like i haven't like had my hair even in so long, in like a very, very, very long time. Now I want to press your hair. Now I want to. It just looks, yeah. This is so good. Like, trust me, I'll come back for a silk press. Don't worry. I got you. Christmas time, yo. We back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we back. Facts for sure. Ooh. Perfect, nice and quick, y'all. It took like what, like 30 minutes? Probably. That's, That's all you chatting. need, you know? Uh, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot from Sarah. See you guys on the flip. <laughs> and I'm out this bit.